Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original I have so many questions for people that have sent me this. I know it's loud. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I know, baby. I'm going to feed you in a minute. So hopefully this is a little lower. So this is make love, not walk. It's a Warhammer porn game, apparently. Let's do this. Warning, this game contains themes of sex, fa fantasy, racism, great, and BDSM. I've done worse. I can hardly remember last night. Only bits and pieces. I have a vague memory that begin with my when my co-workers and I went to into the bar. After that, it all became hazy. I remember a girl, I think. I remember her being in, my, in her arms. I remember the look of pure animal instinct she gave me. Quiet, you. Her, I will be right back, guys. I'm sorry, I've got to feed the kitty. I'm suddenly becoming visible in my mind. I couldn't look away. She enraptured me. She drew me in. But alas, that was probably just a wild dream. I know I went drinking, but my game isn't so good that I can bring a girl home, especially being the drunkard mess I was last night. And now, I'm in my bed. I know I'm in my bed. I feel pretty warm, though. Did the AC go off? Well, it's time to wake up, even if it is my day off. But opening my eyes, I find myself unable to move. Hold on, there we go. For there is someone in my bed with me, their hands wrapped around my waist. <laughs> A green hand. Oh. Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. Did I bring someone home? An orc girl no less? How the hell? Her grip around me is strong. I try to move but I can barely even budge. She's incredibly strong. Now I'm actually afraid to wake her. So I lay still, unable to move after all for fear of, arou of rousing her. I feel something soft against my back. Her breasts are pressed hard against me, squishing themselves across my skin as her arms tighten around me. Suddenly, I can, he I can feel her move, and then I he hear her loud, inhuman yawn. Okay. Then there's a long silence. It almost stretches into eternity. She is no doubt examining the situation herself. Shit! She's probably disgusted with herself right now. I feel her arm pull away from me as she stands. <laughs> okay. I finally got a good look at her. Morning! Morning! I, um, don't remember much from last night. I apologize if I did anything wrong. Don't worry about it. But I do need to go. Oh yeah, of course. I'll, um, uh, see you around? She quickly dresses and leaves without another word. I really doubt she plans to see me around. Oh well, it's my day off. Might as well enjoy it. And morning again, this time without the pretty girl. Well, time to get up and go to work. Not sure if I want to see the guys today. They're probably going to talk a lot of shit. Whatever. I eat breakfast and then head out. Head on out. Sun's already... Sun's out already. Summer makes for long days. I live a short walk from work. Like around 10 minutes. So I usually take the bus. They generally stay on schedule. So it's pretty reliable. Ah, here it is now. It's the same old... It's the same world every day. Thinking back to the other night, and the next morning, she was actually pretty, she was actually very pretty. For the orc girl. I don't think I've ever actually been with a girl that had big muscles like that. 
She was much bigger than me, too. I can't deny it, though. To tell you the honest, da honest to damn truth, she actually is my type of girl. Oh, well. I'll probably never see her again. Here I am. I've been working for the government in IT for about a year now. It's good enough. Jo it's a good enough job. Allows me to live comfortably. Morning. Well, hey there, superstar. This would be ta tar Tarlin. Yeah. Tarlin. Tarlin. That's all I'm saying. His name. My, <laughs> my supervisor here, and a good dude to work under. Did we go out two nights ago? I think I vaguely remember seeing you there. Oh yeah, we drank ourselves to shit. You got pretty brave and even started talking to a girl. Did she happen to uh have a green complex? Complexion? Oh yeah, watching you pick up attempts was funny until they actually worked. I uh, woke up with her. I don't remember much. She left. Didn't even give me her name. Oh well, at least she got a little something. Try not to get so inebriated next time. You might even remember enjoying it. Will do. I... Why was this so fucking requested? I'm very confused on why this one was one of the most requested games. There's a work order that opened... Oh, sorry. There's a work order that opened on the fourth floor. Can you take it? Can you take care of it? Sure. Again, why was this the most requested game? The fourth floor is where the actual agents of the agency I work for are situated. They're federal, gov they're federal law enforcement. I've seen them around, armed and professional looking. They're kind of intimidating. Off I go! I take note of the work order and system ID before grabbing my t tool belt and heading for the elevator. <laughs> Snape says, hi darling, would you like me to do some yaoi for you? I'm all ready to get nice and dirty. I make my way to the fourth floor. Den of the beast, literally. I see armed agents running around ignoring me as I make my way to the offending computer. The ticket said that there was a problem with the connection. Could be a few things. I'll have to troubleshoot to find out. Try turning it off and on again. That's not fucking funny. I turn towards the cubicle to find someone waiting for me. Oh, uh, yes, hi. Are you from IT? I'm the one that opened the work. You! You! You're the a you're an agent? You work here? Holy shit, it's her! Without without the bed hair and with clothes on. But it really is her. She's hard to forget. Funny thing is, every time I hear that voice, I see Snape. Darling. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make this better. A second. I actually do have a plan to do a special Snape series because somebody requested it, and I might start it today. Darling, are you ready for me? Oh god, I thought this was gonna actually freeze exploit for a minute. Mm, yes, that orc is so... Ooh, look at that booty. Snape would like to pinch that orky booty. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna go back to this. Her, na her name tag says Frosthammer. Oh, fuck you! Isn't Frosthammer a reference to fucking Warcraft? Alright, Jeremy, play it cool. You're at work. Uh, Agent Frosthammer? What's the nature of the work order? Oh, right. Yeah, it's having trouble connecting to the network. I'll take a look at it. The problem is actually really simple. Once it's working again, I go around the corner and wave at her. She was talking to some of the other agents. The Ethernet cord wasn't plugged in. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. It's more common than you would think, Agent Frosthammer. I'll be closing the work order. You have a good day now. Um, yeah, thanks. As I turn to take my leave, however, she calls out to me one more time. Wait. I turn and face her. She mumbles, struggling with what to say. Do you even remember what happened the other night? She's a brick house. She's mighty, mighty, letting it all hang out. Bits and pieces. They already referenced it. Oh, 
I know nothing of Warhammer. I remember walking up to you and chatting you up in the bar. I lower my voice a bit. I don't want to say anything that might get spread around in the middle of the goddamn agency. Well, uh, we, uh, made out. She steps a bit closer. Yeah, you haven't kissed much, have you? Ouch. Bitch, I was drunk. It's okay, though. I think it was cute. So what happened next? You, we were at my place, and we, uh, shared the night. Now that's the part I rem I do remember of that... Now the parts I do remember that are good. You were a bit drunk. As soon as you were done, you passed out. I'm sorry? It's fine. I had fun. I passed out a bit after you. Listen, I'm sorry I kind of walked out that morning. That was weird. I thought she didn't want anything to do with me. That was rude. I just got a bit panicky. She got a bit panicky? It's funny. We never even exchanged names. It was a real, it was a real one night stand. My name is Zana. Jeremy. So listen, I, um, she lowers her voice a bit. I enjoyed our time together. However, brief or drunk it was. Why don't you take me on pro, why don't you take me on a proper date? Wait, seriously? Am I even awake right now? Never in a million years did I think I'd have held the interest of a woman like her. And the problem is, she's a dead ringer for my type. Strong, tall, and green. Yes, yeah, seriously, I know you're into that Star Trek shit. Take me out. I heard orc girls tend to be forward, but damn. I, uh, sure. Let's exchange numbers. She put her number in my phone as Zana Frosthammer. Cool, I'll uh, text you later. I'll be waiting. After work, I head back home. Is it proper when you fucked her? I mean, yeah, at that point, you might as well just take her on a proper date. Damn. Right, I should text her, see if she wants to hang out tonight. So I text Zana, and I just accidentally made this a lot louder than I should have. There we go. So I text Zana. Hey, it's Jeremy. You want to go out tonight? I sent the text and sat down, but as I was about to turn on the TV... Yeah, sure. Do you have a place in mind? Oh shit, she responded quickly. I wasn't ready for that. Where do I even take her? Should have thought of that and through earlier. Wait, I know a nice place for a drink. There's this place we can go. I'll send you the directions. When do you want to meet up? Let's meet up in an hour. I can't get over how much of such a tough girl who carries a gun uses emojis. Sounds good, see you there. Can't wait! Oh boy. An hour later, I walked into the said bar. The music doesn't really fit. It really doesn't fit with the place. Not a lot of people here yet. A few orcs, but not the one I'm waiting for. I take a seat and order a drink. Fifteen minutes pass by. Well, it's not the first time this has happened. Not the first time I've had a girl flake. Oh well, might as well finish my drink and head home. But then I see someone walk into the bar. I didn't recognize her at first. Oh my god, the thing on her head just killed me. Hi, sorry I'm late. I got a bit caught up at work. Super cute. Not to me. And even though I've seen her naked, there's something about that outfit that makes her look really attractive. Hi, you look good. Thanks. She takes a seat across from me, putting her purse on the table. The music is awful, by the way. Do you want a drink? Please, it's been a long day. So yeah, I got grazed by a fireball, but I managed to shoot back and hit, it, hit the mage. No, guys, she hit mage. Zana spent the last hour telling me a bit about herself. Some people gave us strange looks, but usually turned away quickly. She's pretty much about as badass as I expected. I read about that. That was the smuggling ring dealing with magic enhancing drugs. You yeah, the same. Those fucking potions. Speaking of which, do you always carry your gun with you? The only gun I carry is this one. Nah, but it's in my purse. I always carry off duty. I pity the poor soul who tries to mug her. But enough about work. 
I suddenly feel her strong hand grasp mine on the table. So how many of you guys are turned on right now? I want to know what your intentions are. My what? Intentions? You find me attractive? Hot? Y yes No. Then what do you want to do with me? I just wanted to take you out on a date. Oh, you humans and your dumb courting rituals. It's getting late. Wanna hop on out of here? Sure. Yes, this is a parody of Warhammer. It's called Make Love Not Quark. <laughs> yeah, I do. I did it earlier. You missed it. Do you live close? Close enough to walk. Do you want me to walk you home? Why? Don't you want to take me to your place? I've already been there after all. Right. This is a weird game. We walk home with only casual chatting between us. But as we walk in, I can't help but feel something in the pit of my stomach. So, this is my place. Uh, I know, silly. Let's just fuck. Alright. Fucking music's gonna kill me! You gotta love that porn music. I don't even know who initiated what at this point. We're both slightly tipsy, but not as drunk as the other night. Her lips are surprisingly soft. I have to position my mouth a bit so that her tusks don't point and poke me. But even if but even if they do, I don't really care. My hands move over her body, around her curves. They move with a mind of their own, touching whatever they please. She does the same, holding me firmly as our lips remain locked, only grasp gasping for air every few seconds. Wait! Huh? Well, shit, what now? I... There's something I... Is everything all right? I have a dick. Yes, it is just... Is this the part where you tell me you're, you're a virgin? Don't be dumb. You are my first human, though. And all my life I've had... Let's call it a fantasy. A shameful, shameful fantasy. Well, honestly, fantasy is a nice way of putting it. This is a very degenerate thing. Zena, you're stalling. Is it like some kink or something? Yeah. Why am I telling all this to a guy I barely know? I want to tell her to just go ahead. I won't judge. But I don't know if that would be a lie. I'm into race play. You dirty, dirty urk. Orc. Yes, Daddy, yes. Tell me a bad orc. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop with that. I'm quiet for a moment trying to process what she told me. Race play is... I know what it is. Just to be clear, it's kind of that... Human master and orc slave? Yes. I see. I understand if you think this is weird and want to call it all. It's a lot to throw at you so suddenly. It's just... I really want to try. She wants her to call him a dirty... Oh, God, yes. Oh. Oh, you dirty gnome. Yes, Daddy, yes. I don't know why I keep going to the Daddy joke. I think I've been playing too much uh, Something Unlimited. Let me try to examine the situation. A girl just told me she's into a certain kink. That kink is being dominated while being belittled with racial slurs. Oh, orc slash pole. McGregor got it. She poured out her heart to me. And looking at her, she seems so troubled by it. I can imagine why. This would be hard to talk about, especially in today's climate what to do. But seeing her sad expression there is really only one thing I can do. Wait here. Okay. She left her purse in the living room. I invaded her privacy a bit and searched it. Oh, hey, her gun. But not what I'm looking for. Alright, got it. Give me your hands. Huh? It's not a terrible game. I take a step back and look at her and <laughs> look at my handiwork. She just stood there with her mouth quivering and let it happen. She didn't pull away or move. She just stared in disbelief as I cuffed her hands together. Y you cuffed me. 
With my own handcuffs. That's right. Bitch. This was a risk I was taking. Since I've technically just committed assault on a federal agent, I'm half expecting her to take me down right now and find myself waking up in a federal detention facility. Oh look, hash me, <laughs> hashtag me too. But she doesn't move or say anything. At this moment, she looks so helpless, which is funny because I'm sure she could choke me out even if her hands are chained. So I decide to just move forward. I grab her and push her on. <laughs> are you guys enjoying this game? I'm actually curious. Everyone enjoying it? Holy shit, we're the top broadcaster on Plexnorm. Woohoo! Woohoo! Zena, you okay? I think I broke her. Zena? She still doesn't move, so I try a different approach. Speak when spoken to, slave. I'm... I'm good. She's still not moving, but if she says she's good, I'll take her word for it. I leave her there as I go to the bathroom to freshen up. I clean myself up a bit before heading back. Now, guys, if you like this game, maybe we'll do it again for my next stream. Remember, guys, we can hit that next goal on Patreon. I promise you, every Sunday, I'll come be naughty with you guys on Plexstorm. And I do think about bringing my other streams, my bit more tame ones here, to Plexstorm. If you guys are interested in other games other than adult, I certainly do them. I'm going to take a quick break and stretch my legs and go ahead and grab a drink myself. So I'll be right back with one last game for my loves here on Plexstorm. This is a no-go, I just can take cold This is a danger zone, back up and get me home This is a no-go